Gareth. <laughs> yes, Steve. How are you feeling? No, not too bad. Uh, so we're sitting here tonight. Um, you've got a bit of news for fans. Yeah, uh, I think it's the times came where the, what is it they say, the boots get the rusty nail. So, got the operation, the knee has not fully recovered the way I was hoping. Um, and I just don't think I'm capable of game that's needed to be to stay on at the club. And I spoke to Orman, Orman was very helpful and uh, helped me in a lot of ways. Uh, it's more, it's very mentally challenging with an injury, and especially this one, but yeah, but it's, it's just, I think we've got to the crossroads and the time's right. I think the last 12, nearly, maybe 18 months has been highly frustrating for Gareth. Um, we've tried everything, he's tried everything, um, to try and get himself back and, and into a way of being able to train regularly and play regularly um, and sadly it, it hasn't happened so um, particularly the last couple of months I think he's been at that point where he's been close to pulling the plug and, and close to I think bringing yourself to that point to saying that you're retiring is, is a hard thing to do as a, as a sports person um, and it's been the same for Gareth and, and I think finally this week he got to that point where I think the decision was made his knee was still giving him jip um, and to be fair to him um, he, he's, he's decided that now is the time. Uh, talk me through the process of the last couple of months of how you got to this place. Uh, the last couple of months, I think it was, well, the club uh, got me through my operation last year. Uh, when I operation, there's a risk. I knew the risks that maybe would work, but maybe wouldn't. I uh, felt good after my operation. I came back and done all the rehab I needed to do. Uh, come back in for pre-season, done a couple of sessions and just never felt right. My left knee, uh, it's not any worse than it was, but it's just not what it needed to be. Um, and it's just, it just kind of lingered on and I can't really get rid of the pain. Tried everything, uh, done my rehab, some my pitch work, but it's just, it's just an injury where I think this guy took time and that's, unfortunately, I don't know, a lot of time in football. What came with you was also your dad coming down, taking lots of pictures whilst you were here. Has there been a picture your dad took of you whilst you were playing for Korea that, that really sticks out? Because that's a special thing. Yeah. To be having your, your dad on the sidelines the, for a lot of the big games and, and big seeing thing. you. Yeah. Uh, the picture that stands out is the Irish Cup final. Uh, me, my wife and my two kids. I think I have one of the kids, the youngest kid, Faith, in the, in the cup. So I was, was kind of says to him just to get a picture of us. But no knowing that other people would have got the picture and it was in papers and so on, but that there's my favourite picture of me that would have took away. He's been a big, big part of the of the growth of our club, of the growth of the last five or six years and the success in Europe. And we hit this he come on and again just shows you again I'm just getting flashbacks here, but um, we'll all re remember Maribor and he, he'd been again frustrated with the knee coming into that pre season and played up a huge amount was not probably meant to be on the trip at all and then we decided we would try and bring him across even just to to try and get him into training and try and keep him moving and everything else then we had a wee injury or something he decided to go on the bench went the extra time needed somebody to go on and play in front of the back four garth put his hand up went on and kicked everything that moved for 15 minutes and got us through the penalties and then the whistle hadn't gone and i think him and ian parkhill were two of the first guys over to me i'm hitting i'm hitting and and he went and rattled a penalty as good a penalty as you ever see and that was just and to me, that Gareth and it epitomises him a leader, not a leader maybe verbally and around the change room, but very much a leader by action on pitch. Um, and someone that I think will, is, will be fondly remembered by everybody associated with the club over the last few years. It's like, it's hard, it's hard to put in the words what it means to locals. Uh, people just think it's another game of football, but it's not. It means so much more to people. Um, the first win of months, being here, I noticed that and um, it's just grew and grew. I think the club's expanding and the fans are getting uh, bigger and bigger, the crowds. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a pity it's came to us. The fans have been absolutely fantastic since I came in. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure playing in front of them. We have some highs, some lows, but that's just part of football. Um, Playing in front of them, the support you get is, is crazy. Um, 
when you need them, they're there. Yeah, it's, it's some guy missed the fans, but the joy is now I'll turn into a fan, me and the kids. I'll come down and watch and support the boys. It's been an absolute honour to play and represent the club. Um, had some great moments, family moments and everything that comes with the club. Um, that's, it's kind of strange. Uh, not been coming down to do your training Tuesday, Thursday, then game day Saturday. Um, but I had some great memories and I'll never forget them. You know, there's Gareth and Ian and Owen have all shifted and it's, you know, it's a sign of the squad being renewed. But three players, local players that have played for the shirt and knows what it feels like to play for their, their local club. Um, uh, you know, seeing those players move on, what memories do you have just as, as the squad develops and changes? Um, the first thing is it's really tough because with all three of those guys, the length of time they've been here, there's a big friendship as well. And, and yes, you have to be a manager, but you know, it's not, it's not like playing on a laptop or playing a computer game, you're dealing with people as well. And, you can't help but build a friendship with these guys. You can't help but build that rapport when you, when we all went through. You know, those three guys all scored their penalties in Maribor, and just that one experience alone is something that will live with everybody in that change room forever, probably. And any time you bump into those guys moving forward in the future, it'll be recited and spoke about, and rightfully so. So, when you build memories like that, it, it it's tough. Yes, it's really, really tough, and it's you know, it's sad to see Skinner go sad when Hargey had to move on, and, and same with Gareth, but. I suppose it's the nature of football and it's it's the the industry that we're in that, that it happens and, and we've got to push on. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you for me and my family personally. Um, yeah, it's just to support the boys and even though there's some bad times ahead, there's got to be many good times and there's bad times. The club's expanding, it's gone in the right direction. Uh, also, I say personal thank you to Oren and the coaching staff and the especially the medical staff and the board. Um, they've done a lot for me in the last year. They've helped me through my operation uh, without even hesitating. And uh, Alan and Kieran, the medical staff and the club doctors, I've been on, if I needed them, I just was able to ring them and get a bit of advice. Uh, yeah, so I was, it's going to be strange. I'm going to miss a, a lot of, I'd say I'm going to miss everything about it, to be fair. Um. I'm sure the fans won't mind me speaking on their behalf as well as the clubs, but uh, we thank you for all you've done for the club and we look forward to having you back as a fan um, and wish you luck in your future. Perfect. Thanks, thank you guys. very much. Quite, quite a sad night for me anyway and for probably a lot of people involved. Um, big Gar sadly has decided um, it's rusty nail time and it's, it's time to put the big nail in the, in the garage wall and, and, and hang them up. And for him probably it's been, and we'll all, I think everybody's been there with injury, it's the worst part of football and everybody knows that and anybody that has been injured would, would tell you that and I think what he's gone through the last year or so, maybe longer, um, has been not necessarily physically demanding but more um, mentally demanding than anything else and I think it's just got to the point now where um, he's ready to just, I think he's been in denial for a few weeks but ready to just go um, and do that. So number one I just want to thank Garth for all his time. I've known Garth, I lived in Balamone, Garth lived in Durham, I've known Garth for, I think I first came across Garth when he was about 10 years of age, 11 years of age. I did my, I did my cruciate ligament, it was injury that made, uh, got me uh, to know Gareth. And for that year that I was out, I went and took a team in Lisburn, a young team in Lisburn, under 12 or something, and took Gareth and another young fellow up the road and played, and he played that whole season. Um, kept on moving then, then I went to Limavari, Gareth came and played at Limavari. I moved on to Coleraine and it took a wee while, Gareth then head staggers for a bit and everything else that goes with it, and then finally settled down again. Always felt that yeah. the point would come. Uh, a few doors went missing and everything else that goes with it and, and all the rest, a few red cards. And then finally got him to the point where we got him here. And, and again, you, you know, and I look very fond of it, we've had a, a brilliant couple of years where we've hit Europe, we've hit cup finals, um, close to leagues and everything else that goes with it. And Gareth was synonymous with a huge amount of that, particularly that, you know, he's man of match in the cup final um, when we beat Cliftonville and particularly that season, I think him and Stevie had an unbelievable partnership along with everybody else um, that will go long in the memory. So. Um, for me, I think it's really, really important with the, the time that he served and everything that's gone here that it doesn't go unnoticed. And I think that's why I wanted to bring him down here tonight and thank him publicly in front of everybody. But I think everybody in the change room would like to say the same. So number one, we wish you all the best moving forward. Number two, we don't expect you to be a stranger and we'd love to see you down with the kids and everything else. Any weekend, you're more than welcome and pop your head in. Um, and, and fingers crossed everything goes well moving forward. All right, thank you. Thank you Thank <laughs> you.
Speaking of stone. I just want to say it's been a pleasure playing with you. Uh, made some great friends for life and some great memories. Um, and that's going to be shit, I'm going to miss it. But that's just life. My time to go and spot to something else and just step in and fill the wee hole I left. And uh, I'll be doing the watches and probably gaze the beers like everybody else. <laughs> 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 I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Come on, guys. <laughs> You were supposed to drive next Tuesday. I'll still drive. Here we go. Take us to Barney. What am I working for? All the best. Hey, see you there, boys.